everybody, and welcome to our first interior stateroom tour. Uh, this is on the Disney Wish, Disney's newest cruise ship as of the recording of this in 2022. So let's begin our tour. It won't be a long one because it's an interior stateroom and it's not very big. Uh, but that's what, you know, it is, it's the one of the cheapest rooms you can get on the ship. That is because it's small and also because it has no windows to the outside world, thus interior. So a few steps this way and we are in the middle of the room. Um, what I think is really interesting here is this, this passage is very tight. Um, I could not walk straight through this. I mean, you see my size 15 shoes are not, they're, they're taking up the whole space there. So it's a little, it's a little tight, a little tight here. This is the sofa that will turn into a bed. Uh, we have a little table there, uh, and Depending where you are on the ship, you'll get different art from different films, different princess movies. Uh, in this case, we have The Princess and the Frog, which I'm pretty excited about. Love this movie. It's a great movie. I went to like, the early premiere of this movie in New York. It was playing at the Ziegfeld Theater back in the day. Um, so we've got this great art of Tiana looking up at the stars, which I assume is, is Ray and Evangeline because Ray has joined Evangeline, the star that he was so infatuated with in the film. Uh, and so over here we have, I almost just fell over. That's how close we are. This is wide lens that's on, by the way. This is as far back as I can go because the sofa is at the back of my leg. So I'm gonna have to step into this corner and now turn to show you all of this. So if you thought the storage space was light for the other room, but then again, we had more people in the other room. Um, we're only putting two people in this one. Um, life vests up there, some shelves, some space to hang, some stuff. Here is the safe. Laundry bag is there. Eric already put his backpack down there. So good amount of shelves. I mean, for two people, I feel like I have enough space in this it's also a three three night i don't know if it's a little longer i might not be so keen on this our phone is off the hook let's let's put that back on there unless we can't no we can cool got our glassware over here look at all these outlets there's usb and standard and all sorts of things um our gift for being on one of the inaugural sailings and also being Castaway Club members. There is a little stool. I'll pull the stool out. Why not? One hand. There we go. There's our stool. We have some little drawers. Aw, a postcard. Postcard and stationery. That's old school, man. That is not a thing. At the Disney Parks internationally, that's still a thing. The U.S. parks, that is long gone. Disneyland was hanging on to it a lot longer, though. I think they've done away with it, finally. Hair dryer. And then this wacky, the wacky drawer fridge is down there. Uh, there's lights here that control the ceiling light and the mirror lights. So there are the mirrors off, mirror on. Oh. So, you see, without the mirror on it, it could get a little dark and dreary in here um, with just the ceiling lights. So I like to have the mirror on. I think it's, especially when you have no window to the outside world, I think that's, for me, that's at least the right amount of lighting. As we travel to the bedroom, <laughs> I say that loosely because we haven't really gone anywhere, um, there is a privacy curtain here. And then there, here's the bed with this beautiful Disney Wish. Uh, bed runner with the awesome DCL logo, which of course is also on the bedding. It's on the sheets as well. Um, lots of storage space under the bed, obviously, because you're going to need that in this particularly tight room. And of course, the carpeting inspired by, again, this enchantment theme of the Disney wish carrying through. So a lot of things that are reminiscent of castles and fairy tales and things of the sort. Uh, the TV is going to be over here. I'm not a big fan of these panel walls. I'm not a particularly big fan. I'd rather it be a solid wall. I don't know. It's It makes the room feel very temporary to me. Um, it does give the vibe a little bit of a Japanese hotel, too. 
um, with the with the paneling the way it is. But I don't. It really brings the it brings the classiness down in the room. I think a peg, at least for me. Um, I actually have uh, this is a nice wide end table that the bigger rooms don't have. So someone could have a nice wide space here, which is as great if you got to charge a bunch of stuff, your phone and stuff next to your bedside. This is a nice wide countertop to do it. And there's two USB and that European style outlet sitting there. Um, there's this great light with the hidden Mickey. Apparently, I read in the book about the wish that when you turn this off, you can't see the pattern at all. And then when you turn it on, it's a, it's a hidden Mickey because if the light's off, the pattern vanishes. So a little something we've learned since our last cruise. I read that whole book about making the Disney wish. So now I know like everything. This is this is the highlight of the room. Um, this is all the all the headboard art is phenomenal, um, and a lot of them they went and worked with the actual people that worked on the film. I don't know that that's true for this one. I know specifically Moana they worked with an artist from the film. Um, I would assume they did that across the board. But if regardless, this is still really great. And the interesting choice they made is all of them have this golden sort of reflecting effect. Um, so there are little shiny parts in this point. Um, in this art, it's the fireflies that are all around the scene in the swamp. But how great is this art? And the great thing is they're selling all this art. They learned from Riviera that it was a great idea. Uh, art on Demand is selling so much of the original art from the ship, you can bring it home, which I'm a big fan of. Then we go over here and we've got, look at this, we've got a rare, rare Disney hotel site. It is the ultra rare USB-C port. There it is, along with two standard USB, two regular outlets, another light. Of course, this is your reading light over here. And then, who doesn't love these? I love these pillowcases. The Mickeys and the, it's hard to see, but the cruise line pattern is there the logo pattern. Maybe in the light you can see it a little more. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. I'm going to sneak my way out. It is real tight on that side of the bed, though. I'm, I'm having trouble getting down there. Uh, let's go. We have a mirror. Hello, everyone. Full-size mirror. Going to a singular bathroom. So this is, this is where it hurts the most, I think. I think I could live without the veranda. It's, it's tough to have this one tight shared bathroom so there's a step up and then we come in here we have a nice big mirror we got shelves with um body lotion and makeup remover towel and of course my favorite thing on the cruise are these these towels i love it i love that they continue to live on hand soap here here's our faucet garbage there trash can it's hard to get in here. Got some more shelves on the side here. There's the toilet, toilet paper. And uh, we can turn towards the shower now. Everyone's a big fan of the new shower. Everyone agrees the showers seem to be a, a step up. I don't know if I can open it. There we go, just enough room. It's, room's tight. As a, I mean, I'm six foot one, 265, you know, I'm a, I'm a bigger guy. So it's real tight for me. If you're smaller, you'll be all right. But once you get towards my height and size, it's gonna it's gonna be a little tight. But again, maybe you want to get on the cruise by any means necessary, and this is the option for you. Some shelves in here, of course, all the amenities. We have the conditioner and body wash and shampoo from H2O Plus. And there you have it. I mean, there's not much else to show you guys. I know this is not the length of one of our regular room tours, but you do get to watch me open this sofa bed. So here we go. I gotta move, I gotta move everything. I'm gonna slide this over here. Pull this guy out of the wall. That's heavier than I thought it would be, but that's good. Cause we're on a boat. So what you do is you just grab here, give it a pull. Obviously you can do this with two hands. I'm having trouble because I'm doing it with one because I'm filming. 
I'm gonna put the bag down and, and do it with two hands. <laughs> Here we go. Should I still pull this? Maybe I have to start over now. No, I got it. All right. Oh, I think it was, actually I think it was what was stopping me is it's hitting the wall. It was rubbing the wall, so it was giving me trouble. So there you have it. It's not very big. Um, per my parents' review on the last cruise, by the way, I tried to get my parents to sleep in the real bed. They refused. They, before we got back to the room, got in these tiny beds and then complained about it the whole time. I love them, but I wish they would have just taken the real bed. <laughs> um, so according to my over 60-year-old parents, this is not very comfortable. So keep that in mind. If you're traveling with kids or someone that really doesn't care, this is where they need to go. If you need a comfortable night's sleep, you're going to need to get in this bed. That's my warning. So with that, that again is an interior stateroom on the Disney Wish with some beautiful Princess and the Frog art.